Hey guys, we're going to 95, we're going to live in the Yorkshire prison cell. Let me get comfortable, this one is going to be a doozy. Now, yes, I am finally doing it, the Deadpool versus, or the uh, Dante versus Alucard death battle. Uh, just so you guys know, because of the massive arsenal of Dante, I will not be going over all of his weapons, as a matter of fact, I will not be going over either of these characters in terms of analysis. If you want to see a very vague and sort of overly researched analysis of Alucard from Helsing, go watch my Alucard from Helsing versus Alucard from the Castlevania video, which, with guest star Dan. Not revealing his last name. Mitch Henry's still pissed at me for that. Actually, but I could get away with that one, because, and I was, I was actually talking to him about this. Yes, his name is Mitch Henry, but his YouTube channel's name is also Mitch Henry, so by mentioning his name in the vid in the Blaze Blue video like I did, with the, uh, Ragna Soul, Ragna Soul, sorry, I hope they hit me if I get that wrong, um, I actually avoid any sort of, like, legal trouble. So, yeah, yay! But anyway, yes, Dan, uh, helped me with that analysis of Al Alucard vs. Alucard, and I was sleep-deprived and on a fucking Mountain Dew buzz that day, so... Yeah, I was sort of just, like, just <laughs> laughing the whole time and not even really caring about anything. Um... But anyway, point being, I'm not going to go over these characters in terms of analysis. I am going to give a reason. I'm just going to go right into the fight. Nothing I haven't done before, but if you guys were expecting me to say, Oh, this weapon is cool. Yeah, no. No, I'm just going to go right into it. Who do I think will win? Dante. Sorry to be so blunt about it, but that, that's who I think will win. Um, I know this is big as some huge debate to everyone, and I'm not saying it's a one-sided fight. It is an awesome fight, but I think Dante will win for, for here are several reasons. Um, well, simply enough, Alucard uses bullets that he has a limit of, and. They are specifically made to fight vampires and not demons. Now, there is that whole only a, only a man can kill a monster, only a human can kill Alucard, and Dante's half-demon. But, is that, like, an actual rule? Like, is that, like, is, is that, like, something to do with Alucard's makeup, that if you're not human, you can't kill him? Or is that just, like, a, a, a symbolic thing? Like, you know... Like, you have to be... Like, you know, you can't... Like... Is it only a man can kill a monster or something? You know, like, a monster can't kill another mon... Like, I, I think there was, like a, sim like, a symbolic message behind that. I don't think that's, like, an actual rule that you have to be human. Um, then there's that, uh, but let's put it, yeah, so Alucard uses bullets, Dante uses his demon energy so he never has to reload. Um, the other thing is Alucard's greatest weapon, the zero release control, the, you know, level zero of the uh, release control arc strength. Um, allows him to summon all of the, you know, all the, the millions of people that he's drinking blood from over the years. Um, but it robs him of his powers temporarily. Now, that may seem amazing, but let's put it to you this way. Alexander Anderson killed most of those guys with an exploding chain and two bayonets, one of which he was holding by an arm that he was holding in his mouth because it was barely dangling off his body. So, 
And Alexander Anderson, by that, I would call his own admission, was the was the person most capable of killing him. Now, I love Anderson. Hell, I was rooting for the Iscariots when I watched Helsing. And when Anderson killed the... Or when Anderson screwed over that father what's-his-face uh, in Helsing, I was like, there you go. Thanks, Anderson. You're, an awesome, you're awesome and shit. So I'm definitely not putting anything against Anderson. But compare Anderson to all of the shit done to his foot. <laughs> As a matter of fact, compare any compare everything Alucard's fought to everything Dante's fought. Dante, if we're going in chronological order, fought Virgil on four separate occasions. Three times in Devil May Cry three, and then Milo Angelo in Devil May Cry one, because yes, Devil May Cry three is a prequel. And if you need me to explain this, sorry to tell you about this, but it goes Devil May Cry three, Devil May Cry one the anime, Devil May Cry 4, Devil May Cry 2. Simple, out of the way. Um... He fought... So he fought Virgil four times. He fought... Cerberus... Is it Ragni and Udra, or Agni and Rudra? Whatever. One of those. Um... Vampire Lady Bitch. He fought... You know, thought all those boss but Just think of all the boss battles. Think Devil May Cry 1 fighting, you know, giant lava spiders, uh, go, you know, fighting a giant laser shooting butterfly on a pirate ship, fighting just all that. Um, fighting a giant towering fucking angel demon with, like, a, an army of flying demons and shit coming at you, a giant plant lady, a fun, you know, all the uh, anglerfish-looking guy, all that shit he fought. Then look at Devil May Cry 2, and people trash that game, but if you're looking at both experience-wise, with none of his good weapons, Dante, might, might I add, Dante fought giant water snakes, he fought... I forget all the shit he fought in that game anyway, but, um, the most memorable boss fight, I think, for him was, um, he fought possessed tanks, tanks that had been possessed by demons, right? A possessed helicopter, and a possessed skyscraper. Let me put this into clarification. Dante fought a skyscraper that had gotten sentience and can fight back. Not just he ended up hacking away at a skyscraper. No, this is a skyscraper who can eat you, shoot lasers at you, and make the ground underneath you explode. Then, after all of these um, fucking boss fights, he fights an amount. He fights not an amalgamation. Sorry, he fights like a gem fusion of all of these boss fights as one monster. So yeah. Look at everything Dante's done, and I don't see really how it's that big of a problem for him to fight a couple million regular people. Plus, I mean, and this is assuming we're giving Dante his weapon, so I'm assuming he's getting... First of all, I'm going to go ahead and assume he gets Ifrit instead of Cerberus, because Ifrit, or no, Ifrit... Sorry, Ifrit instead of Beowulf, because Ifrit is literally just Beowulf with fire. Uh, but, like, that's assuming he gets Artemis, assuming he gets Cerberus, assuming he gets, not Kalita Ann, but he does get grenade launchers and shit, of it, you know, and, and stuff like that. But, you know, assuming he gets all these good weapons, um, and has all of his, like, abilities he can use and shit, so, but, um... Oh, shit, what was I going to say? Uh, then, but I mean... Plus the fact, like, okay, Alucard sorry, is incredibly hard to kill. And, you know, just that healing factor alone, plus the, you know, he can revert back to anybody that's still within him. You know, like, 
you can release all of these people, but as long as you still, but he can control which ones get released and not, so as long as you keep someone in him, he can turn into their body and, and stay conscious. But I really don't think there's anything Alucard can do to kill Dante. Certainly nothing he hasn't fought before and worse. So, like I said, he's fought a vampire lady before. Not saying she's on Alucard's level, but he has fought people like that. So, and then we're considering, you know, the Devil Trigger, then we're considering, again, all of the weapons and all the powers he can use. The fact that some of his skills consist of doppelgangers and freezing time. Yeah, I'm gonna go say Dante. Sorry, again, sorry for being so blunt about it in the beginning of how I said I think Dante's gonna win, but... I just think Dante's gonna win. I mean, yeah, we really don't see Alucard do anything that impressive consider compared to the stuff we see Dante do. Not, not taking anything away from Alucard, I just think Dante would beat him. That's simple as that. Anyway, hope this video goes through unlike my last one, because I am pissed off, because as you guys know, I hate recording things twice. Luckily for me, there was a gap between these, though. So again... Like I said in the Superpower Beatdown thing I just did, if this video doesn't get uploaded, you guys aren't gonna know, so whatever. Um, and I'm gonna spend the next five or ten minutes trying to figure out which fight to do for this week, so, Verbal Engine 95, see ya. And this happened in my last video, so I'm not too excited right now. You guys can't tell, but there was like a red outline when I tried to hit stop button, so let's hope this works. Anyway, again, verbal in the